Have you observed fog or mist as you step out of the house these days? Well, it's a common observation all around Sri Lanka and is a hot topic of discussion. This is a result of the air quality dropping down to unhealthy levels due to the increase in particulate pollutants in the atmosphere. And this is said to have come mainly from the massive land masses in India. According to the National Building Research Organization, based on the United States Air Quality Index, on December 8, certain parts of Sri Lanka reported levels of air quality that was very close to hazardous. According to these readings, Colombo recorded 249, Jaffna recorded 280, Kurnagala recorded 291, and Vaunia recorded 251 and Candy recorded 240. For reference, if the AQI value is 50 or below, it represents good air quality. And if the AQI value is 300 and above, it is considered hazardous. Sri Lanka is currently facing the northeastern monsoon. And with these winds, pollutants from all around the world blow into our country, putting at risk the health of our citizens as well as its air quality. And to add to this, the Med Department of Sri Lanka recently issued a warning of heavy winds to the northern, northeastern and the western provinces of Sri Lanka due to a cyclone brewing in the Bay of Bengal. Sri Lanka is a country that is more vulnerable to the impacts of climate change due to its location near the equator. In other words, we are facing the consequences of someone else's actions as we speak. So it is important that we not only combat climate change, but also take collective action to overcome its negative impacts.